Hello there, it's Jamie Asher, your transgender twin. I was just taking a walk in the park and I'm dealing with so much craziness, abuse, discrimination, homelessness, uh, refusal of the agencies to discrimination. Uh, anyway, I was taking a little walk out there. This is a park <coughs> where uh, be a kind of a wilderness out here. It's more or less a uh, park in between a lot of cars and Walmart and Walm Walmart's right up there behind me. There's no shopping center there. And uh, either way, I'm out here by the stream uh, just enjoying myself and enjoying the spring weather. I guess it's spring now. The time just changed today. I was just going to walk up here and see what the, uh, who this park's dedicated to. We just had someone who was uh, one of the council members here, a great person who's been strong in the community and planning for us and stuff. I guess somebody's drinking a little wine here today in the park. Way. There's a lot of homeless people around here that they try to spit and exist. The shelters are basically torture chambers, misnamed as shelters. Um, the Wizard of the Turf, founder Hamburg Place, Johnny e. Madden. Well, this is the old slave driver here, total commercialism. And they've dedicated the park to him, the only piece of nature left in the area, probably. This looks like uh, some horses are buried here. It's probably from when this was a farm. Pink Pigeon, size 76. Bell Sheba. Those are the, uh, their parents. Indian Hemp and Mr. Lark's Fly. Now that was from 75. Now I lived here from 65 till in the night. Uh, well, I was here till 2011 on and off. I assume these are probably some other horses because this was probably a horse cemetery when this was a farm. Nancy Hanks, this is probably the original one buried here, 1886 to 1915. Is this even taping? I can't see this silly phone. Anyway. Gosh, let's see. I can't tell if this is taping or not. Yeah, it's taping. Okay, sorry about that. This is how they memorialized horses here. Here's the other horses buried here. Miss Kearney, Ida Pickwick, Queen of the West, West Stakes winner. Yeah, that one in the middle must be the original because that has the oldest date on it. Back in the 1800s when this probably first became a horse farm. Lady Sterling, Star Shoot. Ogden, you can look all these horses up if you uh, should care to. Plaudit. Major Del Mar. Silicon, eight-year-old record, 16-year oh, holder of world records, Silico, and Sir Martin. I probably visited here when I was a young man. My parents always took me to places. 
that were considered tourist attractions back then was the only tourist attraction in Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, there's a big vulture flying over. Hey, sister. The crows around here talk to me. They know me now. I don't know the vultures as well. They're springtime. Anyway, just a little walk through the park. Yeah, this is a place that was dedicated to rich people, more or less. Got some people over here walking in the park with their dogs. That black dog up there looks just like my Theo that was stolen, basically, by the uh, Jackson County Animal Shelter after my robbery. They coerced me into signing him over. Saying I would get him back and sold him two weeks later for 50 bucks, used him as an advertisement on Facebook. So I've had to transmute a whole lot of pain and trauma from other guy. I assume this is a part of the stream that was probably set up at one time by the original people here. Beautiful spot, anyway. I assume there's been a lot of people hanging out here. You can tell this is the older part of the park, these old stones, you know, looks like they've rebuilt the bridge. Anyway, I'll leave you guys. I may come back over here and do some meditation. I'm going to get some burritos up here at Walmart with my last couple of dollars of food stamps. I criticized the... Uh, OHPI, which is the Office of Homelessness and Prevent Homelessness Prevention in Lexington, Kentucky, who they've tried to sweep a bunch of discrimination, and abuse, and torture at the Salvation Army Women's Shelter under the rug, partially by spending $2,800 on getting me a motel room, I guess, in the hopes that I would shut up, which I'm not going to, since I've learned from Mother Father to speak my truth, to walk in faith. It's a little scary sometimes. I gotta go to court. But I say, thank God, at least I finally get to speak my truth. The police won't listen to me. Nobody will listen to me. The Office of uh, Adult uh, Protection Services won't listen to me. Nobody seems to care what happens to people who are considered homeless or disempowered or not rich, basically. Anyway, uh, yeah, I probably got a few resentments against them. I work on that. That's what I do, personal work. I came here with one dollar in my pocket. I was thrown in the streets for Christmas by my own mother. And been dealing with the uh, town council, which I spoke at, which got me the room and got me out of the street for a while. And I was going to say the day that I criticized the OHPI in a letter to the town council, which I didn't say anything that wasn't true, um, I was told I won't have my motel room anymore and I have nowhere to put my clothes. The uh, CAC, the Community Action Council, has said they would do this and that for me. They, won't, they can't even say the word discrimination even though this whole thing started about discrimination that they're trying to sweep under the rug and spin so they can keep their jobs. And then we got the uh, OHPI kicking me out basically, I think, because I criticized them. And uh, they promised to get me an ID two weeks ago, and I've mentioned it three times to my social worker, and he can't even reply to me. And uh, now, apparently, they are not going to do one damn thing for me after being get, gotten out of the uh, Salvation Army by the mayor. I guess if the mayor doesn't speak, they don't give a fuck. So, either way, I love you guys. I'm over here doing some meditation today, trying to get ready for my court, trying to be positive and create this new reality that we've been sent here to help mother with. I'm one of those people that transmutes a lot of pain. I've gotten good at it as a master alchemist. And a master, ascended master.
I have to laugh because it's all labels to me at this point. I just know who I am. I'm not really comparing myself to other people, but I see a lot of darkness around me. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll leave you with a little shot of the park here. And hope you have a great day and tell you that I love you, each and every one. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.